the way she posts herself, what if she does it sexually? Because um, she, you may they, they, to you based on what you see and what she posts on social media, it looks like she just wants attention. Is that is that is that gonna be a problem with you? Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, look, it's like it's like this. So like, um, um, well, my, my my wife has social media and she'll post stuff every once in a while, but it's like you always know. Everybody knows when somebody is going through something. They know when they're in a relationship. You're like, mm-hmm. oh wow, they were married, but they post a certain kind of picture. Yeah, I mean, it's like That's, your yep. your actions on social media tell everything. Like mm-hmm. you tell on yourself. Like we, we, you don't even have to say, "I'm about to get divorced." I'm about to do this. I'm looking at your pictures, and you look like you're about to get divorced, or you mm-hmm. look like you're about to, um, <laughs> you know, you want some, you know, you got a side a dude or whatever, or a side mm-hmm. chick. Yeah. I know just by looking at what you're doing. So like, um, you know, I'm, everything like my whole um, business, well, one of my businesses is to market on social media. So that's, I use those, I've been using social media for you know, two and a half years to like, you know, <laughs> do what I to do, you know what I'm saying? So I know how to use it um, to like, um, you know, to get traction for websites or whatever. I mean, that's just, you know, I, 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 I was educated and trained on that. But so for me, there's a business behind it. But for you, if you're not making no money off of this, like for example, I don't, and I'm not talking about like, if so if an Instagram model, she's monetizing all of her stuff. Yeah, but if I, yeah. if, if I said, okay, I'm going to get with an Instagram model, well, that's what you do. That's how you make money. I'm not going to, I don't have nothing to say about that. But if you're just, you're married and you, you got to, oh, uh, you know, you got that, that Check. look or whatever, yeah. you want to do that. You're not making no money off of that. You're the only thing you're, that's a thirst trap. We know what a thirst trap looks like. So Mm -hmm. uh, I know when, like I said, you are married or you're in a relationship. I now y'all going through something. You know, and me and my wife will sit here like, wow, did you see such and such picture? That's wow, that's (laughs) wow. Whoa, did you see that? And then not long after that, then you see- <laughs> right and then they probably were already split because you wouldn't mm-hmm. have posted it in the first place mm-hmm. if, if that um you know <clears throat> so you tell you you tell off on yourself on social media so I, i'm careful on how i use it um because i don't want to offend her um but at the same time like she knows like you know I, i'll try to tell her like well i i do this and i do that because that's you know you know that's how you use it but i'm not going to do something if she says no do not do that that's your boundary. I'm gonna respect your boundary, and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go. I'll find another way to, you know, to get traffic to the web, whatever. I'll find another way to do it. But like, if you're just doing it to be doing it, there's your your your, your actions speak louder than than what your you know your relationship status is <laughs> is telling me. You know, All right. if I answered your question. No, no, yeah, that's absolutely true. Like. Uh... <clears throat> I'm about to, I might say something right now that's uh, uncomfortable, but <laughs> I'm going to say, no, so for, this is one thing I would say to a lot of women out there, because we've talked about, we talked about before that one of the first questions I asked you guys, what are type of, what qualities or what type of women we should we avoid if, if a man wants to go into a long-term relationship or get married, right? And uh, what is the one thing that I always, uh, I have a lot of, I have a lot of good girlfriends um, that, you know, openly post their bodies on social media. And I tell them all the time is one of the biggest things that guys care about is if, especially if he's going to commit to you, especially if he's thinking about marriage, putting a ring over your finger, he cares about your sexuality only that he only has access to, to me, to him, because you are in a committed relationship. If you're putting your sexuality out there for all men to see for you, you might think this is woman empowerment. This is body positivity, which I don't have a problem with, but when it comes to a committed relationship, men do care about your sexuality and how it's advertised to other men. So if you're out there, if you, if, we, if I'm in a committed relationship with you, but I look on your profile and it looks like you're single, <laughs> all right? It looks like you're single. It, look, uh, it doesn't look like that you are in a committed relationship. I know that men are, are looking at your profile and thinking the same thing. And I know those men are giving you unnecessary attention, which I don't, for a lot of guys, like I said, when we take you seriously, we don't want you to put yourself out there or advertise yourself where I know men are gonna have access to. So, I, cause I have a lot of girlfriends, you know, they're out there, they're, be- they're beautiful girls and then they're posting themselves on, the, on social media 
but they always say, oh, man, it's really, really hard for me to attract a guy. I was like, what car do you guys, I want the guy that's, that's uh, uh, I want a guy that's uh, uh, God-fearing, he has a good integrity, all these, <laughs> all these qualities, right? Uh, loyalty, uh, humble. I'm like, well, look at your profile. Is Does your profile represent the qualities that you are, are telling me what type of man do you want? Like, what are you giving off? Because you say you want a humble guy, you want a God-fearing guy that goes to church, this has a good morals, good values. But if you look at your profile, you'll have ninety percent of your profile picture uh, thirst traps. It's your, it's your body. So that that doesn't say commitment. That doesn't say loyalty. It doesn't say God free. That says sex. <laughs> that says you know uh, you know slide my DM and let, let's you know launch like let's, let's have some fun. So you know that doesn't for, and guys like I said for for men like you you can attract sex, but for guys. If we see you, you we see a girl. I don't care how beautiful you are, but if you're out there just putting yourself out there for all men to see and available to all men, I'm gonna pass on that automatically. And I'm, I'm gonna and I'll go with a girl that's not as attractive as you, but I know for sure that she's uh, uh, her sexuality is only have access to me. And the way she portrays herself in public to other men is not in a way to make it seem like that she's attracting other men's attention. The only attention that she cares about is my attention. So when it comes to men, that we are very the word would be territorial when it comes to a woman, but a lot of women say, oh, territorial, that's controlling. No, this is how we feel. If you're not a if you're not a guy, that's how we feel. Like if, if, when we take you seriously, we are very territorial to you. We don't want any other man to come um, to talk to you, to have attention to, or even have access to you, especially on social media. So that's what I would say for a lot of girls out there. And you know, then we get upset, you know, I'm trying to. You know, you know, you know, I'm trying. Uh, it's just woman freedom, and I'm putting myself out there. I was like, no, I don't have no problem with that. But just understand that if you put your, your body out there as, as a thirst trap, you're not going to get commitment, attention. You're going to get. She belongs to the street. Attention. All right. <laughs> That's what kind of attention you're going to get. <laughs> I, I have. Well, how? Like what? What is like too much though? Like as far as posting certain pictures and stuff, like what what is like to you guys? Yo, you what know what's too much. Girls, like, girls know this. Girls know what's no, too because much. my okay, so you know, speaking uh my husband always says confidence is really sexy. Um and I and I'm I'm you know, I have my like I said, I'm on my weight loss journey right now and he loves to see me, you know, take pictures of myself with like the new clothes I buy and stuff. But it's just like, how far is it? Because for him, he's like, um, he wants me to feel confident and be able to post pictures of my body and feel beautiful. You know, it, it's attractive to him. So like, but like not, I know like what you mean by thirst trap, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is like, what's too far for you guys or for men in general? Because. But let me let me let me ask you this, uh, Mia. Before, so you, I mean, it's different now because you're married, right? But let me ask you, like, <laughs> but before you got before he committed to you, before when you guys were dating, were you posting like thirst traps out there? Before? No, really, I'm a I'm a giant goofball. I'm not like that. <laughs> so that's like, why he committed to you. <laughs> oh, I guess so. <laughs> that's why. So. Mine, that's why. You, mine would be like. Girls that purposely show their cleavage or like twerk constantly, like that's the yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing that they're in a relationship, you know what I mean? I think that's where it's pushing the line. Like if you're purposely doing that to attract men, mm, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just saying, like, uh, no, nah, like if, if you if you over sexualizing yourself and just and you can just look at the profile, you know, just look at the, the way the, the profile is, like, you know, um, I mean, I did not. I'm talking about like the page that when you when you go on somebody's page and all you see is like majority of like majority of those pictures are just like sexual pictures of their body. Mm. Oh yeah, no. That's, no. that's what I'm talking about. If, it, <laughs> if it's like here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it's here and there, like if it's here and there, all right. But if majority of those pictures, uh, majority of those pictures are just you know you posting your body, and like it's for for men it's, it's unattractive, and it's, it's it's nothing against the room. It's not because we don't disrespect it. It's just for men like like I said we. Like, uh, if we're gonna take you seriously, we care about your, uh, your, uh, how you portray your sexuality in, in the open. And because we don't want, like I said, we uh, become territorial of, of the woman that we're gonna take seriously. 
And oh. I, I, I know guys all the time, like they'll see a girl on uh, social media and they're like, man, that, that girl's pretty full. But they'll never think about marrying that girl. They'll just think about mm. having sex with her, but then they'll just go with the average girl and then and, and put a ring on her finger. But um, yeah, cool. Will. Will. Well, Will and uh, I mean, that's absolutely true. Like, um, you know, er, I mean, <laughs> I, I stamp everything you just said. That was, I mean, <laughs> that, that's the truth. I mean, um, I, I don't have nothing to add to that. <laughs> like, like if you if you go through if I go through your profile, now I won't do it now because I'm married, of course. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, if I'm looking through and and you look like you're available, but you're supposed to be in a in a relationship, you ain't making no money off of doing that. So I'm assuming that if you're not making money off of it, um, you know you're just doing it for a thirst attention. trap. You're, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're just doing it for attention, attention. It's like, I don't need that. And I don't need that in my life. You know, atten- you're, you're attracting attention for no reason. So um, that kind of attention. And mm-hmm. I, that's not something that I find um, marriage material, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, you know what's crazy? Uh, some of the women in the past have been on this podcast. And I asked them this question. I was like, hey, because a lot of them, you know, they put themselves out there. Uh, and I and asked them the question, if you met your dream guy, if you met your dream guy, Everything does everything you wanted, but the only thing he asked you to do was to was to uh, uh, shut down your social media. Um, that's the only that's his, that's his only request. He's gonna marry you. This is a dream guy. Would, and I asked him, would they do it? You know what their answer was? No. <laughs> they would not give up their social media if they met what? the guy, the guy of their dreams. That's that's how crazy it is today, especially when it comes to the modern day women. That's today. kind of a hard thing to answer, though. No, I would. I would. Definitely. Social media? I, Are you? I, they're not making money I mean, on social media. Like, no, I mean like because of the world we live in now, like a lot of stuff is based off of technology and how we get around, like how we communicate with other people. But like, that's, that's a phone. That's called like, a phone. you know, like I'm. Yeah, but it's, it's free. Like you don't have to, like if you have if you have family like in the islands or something that you got to use. You know them. them What's that? Or, uh. But that's just that's all oh, social. Okay, I'm thinking, social media like Instagram, I'm of, like yeah, all apps. I'll give it up. I'm, I'm like, talking about like I'm talking about the dust trap uh, social media, like oh. you know, like Instagram. You know. Oh, they said they wouldn't give it up. They wouldn't. They, they wouldn't. Like, they wouldn't give it up the, for for the man of the dream. That's how that. See, that's the the modern day woman today, yo. Like geez, that the attention from men is that's more like, important. Is more important than a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, oh yeah, I, definitely. That's, it's it's not gonna be your happiness forever and not only that i feel like social media has more negative than positive you know with yeah. everything going on in the world on how they make you feel with just the whole like i don't know i just i i i would i would definitely i mean my young self before i was married i would definitely if i before i got with my husband and that was the case like um oh you gotta delete your stuff i'll be like oh okay <laughs> i wasn't really on social media like i am now because i, ha- I own my own businesses so yeah. I probably want to delete it right now, though, because I have to have my business. Yo. <laughs> so, right, yeah. You know how to keep using yeah. it for business. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you make if you're making money and you know, we make we, you know we're killing it financially yeah. off your social media, let's do it. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but if you're not making money, if you're not making no money on social media, and you're not willing, yeah. to, you're gonna put that ahead of our relationship, then yeah. that clearly just shows you uh, where that where where's that at. Right. right to me, that just says options. Like you, you want to keep your options open. So yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That, that's, that's, that's all. That's, that's all that is. That's the truth. That's yeah. all it is.